Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Nelson here. So after testing out the case landing feature of the Skydio 2, I was so impressed with how accurate it was that I was actually curious to see if it's still gonna be as effective if I use it in conjunction with the RTH or return to home function. At the same time, you know, I was anxious to see how well does it compare with DJI's precision landing. And so today I'm gonna be testing both. First, the case landing with the return to home function. And then the second one is a side-by-side -side precision landing comparison with the Mavic 2 Pro. So yeah, let's get this test started. Okay, so I have the Skydio 2 ready to go. And the way I'm gonna do this is that I'm gonna take off and travel at a certain distance. And after that, I'm going to initiate return to home on the remote controller. And we'll see how well does it do the case landing. I'm not gonna put any input to the remote controller after that. So it's just gonna be a uh, autonomous thing for the drone. I'm about to take off. Okay, I'm gonna go up to about... eight meters. And now I'm just gonna fly straight while going up at the same time. Okay, so I have 400 meters uh, travel distance. And what I'm gonna do now is to initiate return to home. Okay, so when you try to initiate return to home, it's gonna give you two options. First is to return to home to where your phone is or to where your launch point is. And I'm gonna choose launch point because hopefully that will bring back the drone to exactly where it took off. So launch point, and now it says returning. Interestingly, for the Skydio 2, when doing return to home, it's actually traveling backwards. And if you try to change the orientation of the drone, you're not able to do that. So again, I have 75 meters height and it is now at 270 meters far. It's coming back home. It looks like it's coming down right above me, which is good. That's promising. Okay, so now it is right above me, but it's not landing. So I guess you would have to initiate land, which, yeah, you would have to do it manually. So before that, I'm gonna tilt my gimbal down to make sure we can see the landing case, then hit the land button. So it's able to track, as you can see, with the yellow circle, on the landing case. And, oops, it's actually trying to make some minor adjustments. As you can see, it's just hovering there on top. And then finally it landed. It landed right in the middle of the landing case though, which is really good. But hey, that was really interesting how, you know, after it returned to its launch point, it didn't actually land. You would have to press the land button manually before it will land. So I'm not sure, you know, depending on how you look at it, that can either be a good or a negative thing. For me, 
You know, I really don't land automatically. I prefer to hand catch my drone. So I think that's a good thing. But hey, let me try one more. Okay, so I'm gonna just take off without hand launching it, take off outside of the landing case, and then I'm gonna use the landing case again as, uh, you know, a, a spot for where the drone should land. Hopefully we'll be able to track it. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the drone, tilt the gimbal down until it sees the landing case. Okay, so it's right above it and then I'm just gonna hit land. Oh, it actually did. Oh, it was able to still use it. So it works, you know, when you take off outside of hand launching and you try to use the case as a landing, it would still work. It was able to track it. Okay, so again, this is just me being curious if I am able to hand launch it and then utilize case landing. So yeah, let's do this. So take off. Okay, the drone is up. I'm gonna bring it back, tilt the gimbal down. Okay, and then now I'm gonna hit the land button. Oh, it actually works. Just have to make sure that it is able to see the case. Okay, so that proves it, you know, whether or not you're hand launching, you're taking off from the ground or you're taking off from the landing case or the case itself, you should still be able to utilize the case landing feature. And that is really, really good. I like it. Again, I'm so happy with this. Hey, let's compare it with the uh, Mavic 2 Pro. Okay, so the Mavic 2 Pro is ready to go. So the same way I'm gonna travel at approximately 400 meters or 350 meters, and then I'm gonna initiate return to home and see how well does it do when it's coming back to its launch point, whether or not it's gonna land or you know how precise it is gonna be with its precision landing feature. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so for DJI drones, for precision landing to be as accurate, what you would want to do is to bring it up and let it hover for a second. And I just did that, so I'm gonna get it higher. I'm gonna go up to 40 meters, just like this Kydeo. And then I'm gonna go as far as, I believe, 350 meters. Okay, so that's 460 meters. I think that's a bit farther than what you call is the Skydio. But from there, I am going to do a return to home right now. Okay, now you are greeted with that familiar beeping sound. And if you are a DJI drone flyer, I actually have a couple of tips for you. And the first one is that if you wanna silence that beeping sound, what you need to do is press the power button on your remote. So you press it once and there you go. No more beeping sound. And of course, it's still doing its return to home function. So yeah, it's coming back and Interestingly, it actually turned around, unlike the Skydio, where it was traveling backward for the Mavic 2 Pro, it's actually facing its direction that it's trying to go to. But at the same time, you're also not able to change the orientation of the drone. So now it's right above me. It was actually way faster. 
So what I'm gonna do now is tilt my gimbal so you can see exactly what it's doing. There you go. So we actually turn around, it's trying to make some adjustments. And we'll see how well does it do. So unlike the Skydio, the Mavic 2 Pro is landing. So I didn't have to press land or anything like that. It's actually landing and it's right on top of the takeoff pad, which is my towel. You know, I use that just because I don't have a landing pad for the Mavic 2. And wow, you can see that it's also right in the middle. It was just as good and I would say, yeah, just as good as the Skydio. So, wow, that is a good one. Okay, so as you see, there are actually like similarities and differences. Well, first one, you know, they're different in a way just because for the Skydio, when you activate return to home, it would go back to its launch point. However, it's not gonna land on its own. Whereas the Mavic 2 Pro, when you initiate return to home, it will go back to its launch point and land at the same time. So again, that could be a good or bad, depending on how you see it. But for this, I think I would give it to the Mavic 2 Pro. You know, that's just one less thing that you have to worry about. It will land on its own and it's very accurate. Just as accurate, I would say, as the Skydio 2. So I mentioned earlier that I have a couple of tips for my fellow DJI drone flyer out there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go fly one more time and then I will show you a really cool feature that you can do for your DJI drone when doing your return to home. Okay, so I'm gonna go as far as say 300 meters. Okay, so that's 325 meters. But before I initiate the return to home, what I'm gonna do is go to the visual navigation settings and then go all the way down to where it says advanced settings. And once you are there, you're gonna have to turn off the return to home obstacle check. Again, you're gonna turn that thing off, return to home obstacle check. It will give you a warning. Just do that. And then now initiate return to home. Again, the drone is gonna turn around and you hear that beeping sound, turn it off by pressing the power button. But now what you are able to do is while you're actually flying to return to home, you're now able to rotate or change your camera orientation. So this one actually acts like or very similar to your cable cam. So as you can see, I am panning or rotating my camera while the drone is doing a return to home, which is really cool, okay? Now the drone is actually landing and you see how I'm able to turn around and that's really, really good because then you wouldn't be wasting your battery just by doing a return to home. You could actually be making a cinematic shot. To be fair with Skydio though, they clearly stated that taking off from the landing case does not guarantee a successful case landing when utilizing the return to home function. I thought it would just be a good addition though if they can improve that in future firmware updates. Now if you find this video helpful in any way, please consider subscribing. And if you already did, thank you very much. I really appreciate you and I will see you in the next one.